Mates, have you ever wondered what it would be like to modify a Fiat 500? Like many of us, no. However, our boy Benny is back. Sounds, sounds all right. It sounds a little raspy. Sounds a little... As you can imagine, this is a car that we've had previously. This is a car that's been in the game for a good while, but Benny decided to give us some more customization. So I even want to play around too much with it because it's bloody stupid. It's a tiny little Fiat thing. We know what it's like, but what we don't know is if Benny is still alive because Rockstar seems to keep killing the man. So let's pop inside and have a look. He's alive. He's still alive. Thank you, Rockstar, for not killing Benny. Anyway, it is good to be here, but let's begin with the Brioso, Brioso wide body conversion boom baby <laughs> now that's super sick but that's only the beginning with these benny's auto works cars you can basically start to customize them quite aggressively but again it has been a while since we've actually done that so i can't really say if that's the case i'm going to remove all the trims getting rid of chrome in the bit in the don't, it's not required we can make it look super clean at the front or we can keep that at the honestly i think it looks a little bit weird without I i'm really liking the oh the, like super mini vibes on this thing it looks super sick I think we're gonna go with body colored. It just, that, that, that looks best. I think it looks stupid on the front. Oh, that looks super nice at the rear. By just removing, oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna put holes in it because, you know, aero. We want it to be beautiful. Engine upgrades, engine block, six cylinder. Wait, we can swap around it. That's super sick. I kind of want to go and put a bigger engine in the rear. That's such a cool detail. Swapping the engine from the rear to the front. Can I see the front plate? The rear plate? I'm about to spend six grand just so I can see. I mean, they could back off and you show me. I want. I just wasted my money. Whatever. I'm going to put a six to the... That's how we're doing. Engine tunes to make it a little bit faster. That is super sick, though. We can actually do that. All right, we can double the exhaust. Something exhaust is tiny. BP exhaust. That's a little bit cooler. I'll don't be fuck like a big blast pipe, but you know, sometimes we gotta we gotta make do. Sometimes you just gotta accept it and and move on. That's how it be. <laughs> All right, what do we got? So we've got we've got a basically side skirt attachment to it, which makes it look a lot more sensible. It looks a bit silly without. We can make it so we've got carbon arches, which um we're gonna go with the primary color option. Grill customization. Well, that's not really okay now it's a grill it wasn't a grill and now it was that makes that kind of makes sense let's put the tuna grill on there it looks really really cool uh, so we can put headlight covers so you can put uh, stickers over the lights what is this need for speed you can make him angry <laughs> that's pretty damn sick and we can also do hood customization which we can actually have it slightly open which means you can flex oh my god you can just have it as a window please let me just have a clean a closed window why is there only a window slightly ajar why can i not just have a closed one let's go for the vanity hood i think it looks super sick Horn customization and interior customization that was something that arrived in the benny's update and has since been available in the game but quite honestly still not as good as my boy benny did benny benny's just on another level benny needs some more appreciation for his auto works he's doing an incredible job we can do some custom seats of course you've seen these seats a million times before but i'm probably just gonna go for the cup we're gonna go light as it should be steering wheel customization I'm not exactly sure how i would go about this considering the wheels don't really suit the kind of little mini car look i'm actually gonna keep it as is and then we could also change the light colors if you want to but no can you believe it he's put a z on lights on it incredible incredible right we've got some stripes to go down the car we can go for white or black we've got grotty stripes down the side we've got the shopping list we've got a taxi livery that looks pretty it's like a taxi race car livery that's pretty cool more race car liveries that's probably my favorite design like super simple but super nice we've got a two-tone design we've got a tribal wrap what's this the M3 GTR? Come on, what's going on here? Schmidt and Pris. <laughs> I've never noticed that before. And of course, flames. Oh my lord, the flames. Yeah. Mirror customization, just to have a little detail. We can put mirrors on the top there. That actually is really cool. Why is that not a thing? That's really clever. I like that a lot, but I'm actually going to go for the touring mirror. It looks super sick. License plates. It showed me the rear of the car. It doesn't even bloody have one. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. That's like a UK style plate, a European plate, that which would make sense. Roll cage customization, of course. Let's go for the padded full cage. Roof customization. Hey, look at that. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that a lot. It, it kind of bugged me whenever I saw like a Fiat 500 say convertible, and they just do that. Like, is this rolling the carbon? We've got a roof rack. We can put some luggage on there. We could fully do that with it. That looks sick. Oh my God, I really love that. 
or a roof scoop. Are you kidding me? I can put a roof scoop or remove the roof. I want both. It's got to be the roof scoop. Not sell. <laughs> not selling. What the heck? Oh, that's cool. So you can put like a sun strip, but it's not just normal sun strips. It's actually got like actual pieces to go over in case you want that instead. I really do like the little sun visor thing and spoiler customization. Already started off with the mahosive wings. Wait, what? Look at the side wing. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, this is some of the best. I, 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 I'm gonna take. I'm gonna have to take a second because these are some of the best wangs I've ever seen. That is incredible. What is this car? I absolutely love these little side wings. I really wish they just had them on all the wings later on in the design. Oh, I'm just going to have to go for something like this, I think. Suspension customization, slam that boy down. You got multiple levels, of course. Transmission. We're going to go for, for the race. We've got trunk customization, which is actually the front. Pretty cool, actually. What if you swap the engine? Huh, Rockstar? What if I swap the engine? Secondary twin vented. Turbo. Of course, it's going to be needed. We have just maxed out the acceleration there. That is awesome. The braking is terrible still. <laughs> I don't think it could be that bad, could it? Window tints. We kind of we, we kind of got to go for a window tint. We go for the dark smoke. Yeah, I have upgraded the brakes. I just had to verify. I have indeed upgraded the brakes. Are they really that bad? <laughs> and here is the finished job. It looks really, really sick, to be honest with you. I'm so glad that Benny's auto works. He's back in swing. We've actually got a few cars that are actually added to Benny. So these wheels, they look super sick. I, I really do like. The wheel option actually made the wheels a little bit bigger. Very cool, Rockstar. And then on the respray, you can actually change the color of the car in two-tone, which is actually really, really cool. So you don't actually need that livery I was talking about to do the two-tone, but the thing with the two-tone is it blends colors a little bit odd. Never been a huge fan of the fact that it does that, but overall, it looks really nice. Looking good is part of it, but how does it dry? There it is looking super, super sick, and I'm sure this thing is going to be a lot of fun. Now, the thing I wanted to really do with this car is do, I know it's, it's fine, it's fine, that'll buff out, no, no, no problem. I want to drive this thing around in, like, alleyways and stuff. I want to, <laughs> I want to drive it in places that, Okay, so there is a bit of a... That lip may be a little bit too big to be do alleyway staircase crawling. What if I try and reverse up the... It's too low. <laughs> I thought I was stuck for a second. But that's no issue. We've got an alleyway here. Look at this. Incredible seat. We've already driven it. What? I remember the first time I've actually saw a classic Fiat 500. They were like restoring the thing. And honestly, it looked so awesome. I like, I've seen tons of classic minis. Obviously, I'm in the UK. We see classic minis driving on the road. We see classic minis being restored. That's like the car you build when you live in the UK. But I saw one of these and it was just the shell and wheels pretty much. It was all stripped out, ready to be basically fixed up. And I've kind of fell in love with it. I genuinely thought it looked a little bit cool. No. I can't say that. I think I think I will be shot by the queen. You know when people get knighted? I always wonder, like, do, they, do you think they'll trick someone one day and they'll be like, Hatch! like, off with their head sort of thing? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I just wonder, that, has that ever happened? Someone that knows British history that's looked into it, please let me know because I, I'm a fake British man. I'm, I'm sorry. But what I love about little cars is they just kind of encourage you to throw them around and just have a blast with it. That's something I've realized. Even though the new Mini is massive, oh, by today's standards, it's a very small car and it feels so sick to just throw around. And it makes me think, if you had an even smaller car, like a classic Mini, or something like this. Would you just have the most fun possible? Again, I've been, I've, I've ride a motorbike. And so that, that's a lot of fun. But like, I would also feel a little bit safer in my bubble. <laughs> Especially V6 powered, not tiny little baby three, four cylinder in the tiny PP engine. I came on the game and honestly, it's actually been so long that I didn't even know how to get this car. It had been, well, I guess since the last proper Benny's update that I've properly been into the Benny's collection. But essentially, in case you don't know, you go to stock and any new Benny's cars will be added here. It's a little bit confusing to be honest, but these are all the cars you convert to Benny's cars. Have I, have I done? I definitely did that. I definitely did. So it, it has been a while since Benny has added some, some spicy cars. I mean, he did he, actually, to be fair. And then the star ones might just be like, are those new? That's probably new, right? But how did I ever? No, I've definitely done the van. We definitely did that. Anyway, it's pretty cool that they were mixing in some Bennies with some new cars. Let me know what you think of this little thing. I love that we've got this and I definitely want to just net, like battle it out with a mini classic. That would be super Sick. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully you did enjoy this car build. And I love when there's bennies because there's more options and you get some pretty sick whips <laughs> just like this. Smash like, subscribe, and peace.